Hey, strong people, Kale Beck here from startingstrongman.com, and I have some news for you. But first, if you like what I do, go to store.startingstrongman.com for all of your strongman training needs, including a new ebook put out by Dane Wallace, Unbreakable Strongman, most comprehensive guide for training for the sport of strongman that's ever been released. It's only $27, and it's a great value. Plus, there's stuff like my book on there as well. Anyways, to the business. Uh, so just a few days, ago, just a few days ago, World Strongest Man announced on their Facebook page that World Strongest Man 2019 would be taking place in Bradenton. Sorry, it's not Bradenton, Bradenton, Florida, on June 13th to 16th. This came as a surprise, as the duration of the contest is much shorter than past years. This led to a lot of speculation on what's going to be different, because if it's shorter, it's already different, so I assume other things are going to have to be different. I heard multiple sources say that there's going to be less athletes, some as low as 12. Uh, so, But the good thing is that I have confirmed with a source within World's Strongest Man, which I cannot name, some details on what is actually going to be taking place. So first thing, so what's new? There will be 25 athletes. This is down from the usual 30 athletes that we've seen in the most you know prior years. Uh, in past years, there would be five groups of six athletes. So I assume, and this is not confirmed, that with there being 25 now, that we're going to have uh, group, five groups of five. That would make the most logical sense to me. The contest will be taking place over four days. This is much shorter than normal, and I know that there's been some discrepancies where it's listed if it's three or four days long. It looks like it's going to be four days long, so I assume June 13th to 16th is the correct date, not to the 15th. Uh, the finals will be one day instead of two in previous years, so they're going to have the Qualifiers are going to take place over three days, followed by the finals over one. Uh, and so that, that also means that there's going to be... Uh, oh, also, yeah, there was room, some rumors that there wasn't going to be a, um, any qualifiers because how are they going to fit that in in such a short time? But it looks like there still is going to be qualifiers. And I assume uh, same format where top two qualify and then there's ten in the finals. That's not confirmed. That's an assumption but it will be three days of qualifiers. Then it goes into one day of final, which is uh, less than the previous years where it's been two. Uh, and with how that schedule breaks down, there's also going to be no break in between the qualifiers and the finals. And I feel like that is the biggest change um, that we see other than they're dropping five athletes. I don't think that makes a huge difference in the grand scheme of things. But if there's three days of qualifiers followed by one one day of finals. I mean, usually the in the finals, there's at least five events. So they're doing five events in a day, which that's a full day. And that's not how World's Strongest Man has been done in the past. Um, and the, with three days, you know, they're probably doing at least five events in the qualifiers apiece. So you're having athletes. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're competing a lot. Uh, and that's four straight days of competing. That's brutal. Uh, that's going to definitely test them, um, but I'm sure you know they have their the best safety in mind for the athletes. But I feel like that's the biggest thing, um, just that there's no break. Uh, if if this schedule, you know, if 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 there's if how the schedule is breaking down, um, how I was told, it seems like there's no break in between the qualifiers and the finals. Other news includes that all athletes that have earned invites via Giants Live shows the previous year. Um, and this year are invited to compete. It's up to them if they accept that invitation or not. The exact locations of events are not known um, yet, but they will be in Manatee. Hopefully, I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, County and beaches, seem, I think, are preferred locations. I mean, it is a television show. And they're trying to make it look good. Uh, once the locations are secured... The events can be finalized around the locations, but the events are not known to anyone at this point. Once the events are known, they will be uh, known to the athletes and public on the same day. So you're going to know possibly before uh, 
you know, Pathor Bjornsson, depending on when he checks his email or Facebook. Hopefully they, they show the athletes just a little before. So what does this mean? Uh, from my talks, they really want fans to come. So if you are on the fence about going, I definitely encourage you to go. I'm going to do whatever I can to go. Uh, and they really want fans to come to the event. So with less days, maybe it's setting, being set up to be a little more fan friendly. That's, uh, that's uh, something I'm just gathering, just you know, reading between the lines. I do not have any word on tickets, but in the past, attending the World's Strongest Man has been free. Uh, but I think they're doing a little bit more, and it seems like they want um, they want a lot of fans and spectators to come to the show. Where in the past, that doesn't hasn't seemed to be that uh, big of a priority. Uh, and if they're going to do the finals all in one day, that's definitely a, a much better fan experience. Because it's a lot easier uh, to do, you know, to 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 commit to one day versus being somewhere for ten in the past. That's not really uh, you know, feasible. So let's see, um, as soon as events are finalized and I hear anything, I will let you know. And of course, thanks for watching. Go to startingthestrongman.com for all of your latest strongman training information, news, articles, programs, everything you need for the sport of strongman. And, uh, of course, you know, follow at world strongest man and everything for, uh, news, uh, Bradenton, uh, um, they have like a tourism, what uh, Facebook page and stuff, uh, they're probably going to be posting some stuff as well. And hopefully, you can make it to World's Strongest Man, and I can make it to World's Strongest Man, and we will get to see who ends up being the 2019 World's Strongest Man. I'm Kale Beck. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe uh, and like, and let me know what you think of the changes in the comments below.